I say that it took about four and a half years to write. And the reason is that it, it, uh, the, the writing process, I guess would be probably about, uh, about three years and then no, about three and a half years. And then the rest of it was, um, was fact checking and research. So the earlier parts, you know, you, you'd mentioned some of the stories about, uh, about racism that are now, you know, 15, 20 years old. And I knew the stories just based on notes I had kept or, um, you know, printouts of scenes and audition scripts that I had saved over the years. Um, but then after I wrote some of those stories on the page, I thought, you know, I want to make sure that they, that they check out. I want to make sure that they're a hundred percent accurate because otherwise, you know, that you don't want to misinterpret an experience that way. So that took a while and just tracking people down and making sure that, that, that memories added up, um, but the, the, the first iteration of the idea of writing the book, my, my manager, I've only had one manager my whole career as an actor. Uh, I, in the book, I think I describe him as like every character from the HBO show Entourage in one person. So he's a, a beautifully ridiculous, loving person. Um, and when I left the White House, you know, I, I, my goal was to work, work there for a year. I ended up staying for a second year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when that sabbatical ended, when my term at the White House ended and I came back to acting, he called me and he goes, uh, hey, man, you need to write a book. And I said, why? He said, because do you realize nobody has ever gone from acting to working in politics? And I said, the governor of California is Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, it is not an uncommon story. Plus, Ronald Reagan was an actor and became president. Yeah. Ben Stein is an actor who worked for, I think, two or three presidents as a speechwriter. Um so he goes, okay, fine. But you know what I mean? Like you probably have a story to tell. And I said, I don't think so. I mean, the reason that I wanted to work at the white house was to serve my country, not because I wanted to write a book about it. So I didn't do anything for about four years. There's also, there's a story in the book that I tell that I just think is so funny because it's quintessentially every Indian dad. Okay. So I remember bringing my, I, I got to bring my parents backstage at uh, Obama's inaugural concert. And Backstage meant there was a massive green room that had like food and drinks and basically everyone who was participating in the inauguration concert was there. So some of us who were actors, we had something to do on stage. So we were back there. There were musicians who were back there. And then there were a couple of like athletes and people like that. And I told my dad before we got there, I said, dad, just so you know, there are going to be a lot of famous people there. And if you want to talk to somebody, if you want a picture with somebody, just tell me and I'll introduce you don't just go up to people and start taking pictures or start, you know, and my dad was so offended. He goes, who do you think I am? I, I know people do this to you and it's really annoying. I would never be, I would never do that to somebody else. And then I felt bad and I was like, okay, that dad, dad's right. He knows what it feels like. People have done it to him. So we go to this, this green room tent and I like, I put my stuff down on a couch and I turn around and my dad is gone. He is no longer standing next to me. And I'm looking around. I was like, where did he go? And I see that he's like all the way at the other end of this tent. He has his camera out and he's taking pictures with a flash. He's taking pictures like this close to Tiger Woods. And I was like, oh, my God. I walked over there. I grabbed my dad. I was like, dad, come on. We went back to where we were sitting. And I said, what is that? You just we just had this conversation. You just you agreed with me when I said you can't just walk around taking pictures of people. I told you they're going to be famous people. You can't do that. You said that you wouldn't do that. And my dad just goes, "Yeah, but that's Tiger Woods." <laughs> as if like <laughs> as if I'm an idiot. Like like Meta, you idiot. Of course that rule applies to everybody, else, but that's Tiger Woods, man. That's different. Five things. Um, can you send me a copy for free? No, you got to buy it just like everybody else. It's a business. It's I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to pay my bills, too. So can I have the book for free? No. Uh, can I have the audio book for free? No. So that's two. <laughs> there are some really interesting questions about like um, it's so cool to see people who have read the book who have really liked certain film or TV projects that I've had the chance to work on that I may or may not have written about in the book. So there's a, there's a big section on Harold and Kumar on the namesake and Jhumpa Lahiri and I are like, all of these are big sections I'm working on the, the show house. 
Um, I, there isn't a lot on American Desi or on uh, Designated Survivor. And those are two, I mean, I, I talk about things that led into or came out of those experiences. But so people asking like, why wasn't that in the book? I'm like, that's a totally fair point. And I'd love to put it in a second book at some point. Mm 